Hello, this isn't really a tutorial, more a recap of last time for Chica. Anyway, no overview, let's import some assets. After the models get imported, I import the textures. Sometimes, they do get imported together, next, I don't have to recreate the materials, we can just create an instance of a material created last time. I am going to do a bit of folder organization. Then, from this modder material, right click and select the create material instance. Name it Chica Body. Swap out the textures with the Chica one and you are done. Now, we can do the eyes if you want. Find Bonnie's eyes and copy and paste that material into Chica's folder. Rename it to mi underscore Chica's eyes. I copied and pasted because it was already an instance, now in Chica's eyes just replace it with the right ones. Fortunately, we only need to change one value this time which is the base color. Now that the materials are created, add them to the Chica model to see if it feels right. If it feels right, then we can move on to just adding this to the database. Go to your data table, find the Chica row. Give it the model and materials in the order we put it. The endoskeleton material is last here. We will also need to recompile the blueprint so it updates. So here is Chica. The recap is done, before we end this, I want to show off a tiny extra thing with the eyes, if you can find textures and a good lighting, you can create this creepy scene, not sure if this will work with Unreal 5 lighting. I might post screenshots of Unreal 5 FNAF on the Discord server. Anyway. I will see if I can help you find these textures. It's only a black image with a white dot in the middle or it could be any design. After importing it, it's like how we did all our other materials. I am going to put this in Freddy's folder, it will be good for upcoming jump scare video. Just get a duplicate of the instance and then just replace it with the creepy eye texture. We can then adjust the emissive value to see its brightness. Save it and then. Let's just add it to the data table to test it on Bonnie. Remember to recompile so it updates the blueprint. There he is, now you can see how creepy it looks. Even better if we drag him out into the darkness. With this you can introduce quite a lot of new scenes and designs and mini games. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you need help, comment below or join Discord. Consider subscribing and sharing. See you next time.